delight what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so Congratulations, class of 2022. Faculty, staff, distinguished guests, friends, family, and graduates. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 66th commencement of Hopton High School for the 2022 graduating class. We would like to remind everyone that today's ceremony is dignified and ask that everyone hold their congratulatory applause and cheering so that all seniors and family members would receive the same respect. Also, please silence all cell phones. At this time, I would like to introduce our distinguished guests. Please stand to be recognized when your name is called. Dr. David Gooden, Superintendent of Sampson County Schools. Dr. Melinda Vickers, Assistant Superintendent of Sampson County Schools. Dr. Wendy Cabral, Assistant Superintendent of Sampson County Schools. Sampson County Schools Board of Education members, Daryl Warren, Eleanor Bradshaw, Robert Burley, Sandra Carroll, Glenn Faison, and Kim Schmidlin, and Sampson County Schools County Office staff. Thank you. It is now it is now time to recognize our top 10 seniors for the class of 2022. Seniors, please come to the stage to be recognized when your name is called. Family and guests, please hold your applause until the final name is called in order for each family and student to receive the recognition and honor that they deserve. Number 10, Baylor Harris. Number nine, Chase Bland. Number eight, Nate McLam. Number seven, Austin Faircloth. Number six, Maya Harris.
Number five, Lucy Strickland. Number four, Leon Corbett. Number three, Anna Miller. Our salutatorian, Caitlin Giddens. And our valedictorian, Isaiah Harris. Congratulations to our top 10. Today we would also like to recognize our school awards that are voted on by the faculty and staff. Please stand when your name is called. Faculty Award, Baylor Harris and Anna Miller. Most Inspirational Student, Isaiah Harris. Citizenship Award, Connor Grimes and Michaela Esquivel. Most Improved Student, Trenton Owens. School Service Award, Armando Avellino Ortiz and Lucy Strickland. Our Champions Awards, Michaela Best, Jesse Boykin, Haley Birch, and Dante Lee. Congratulations, students. Traditionally, our top four seniors speak and they choose a teacher to introduce them. Today's speakers have, been, have chosen Mr. Dunn, Ms. Carol King, Mr. Greg Waters, and Ms. Allie Hicks to introduce them. Mr. Dunn, please come to the stage. I have the honor of introducing Leon Corbett. I have taught many students in my four years of teaching, but Leon is one of the most interesting students I've ever taught. 
He's always ready to tell a joke, to lighten the moment. He's always ready to burst out a tune on his guitar if you give him the chance. He reminds me of this quote by Olympic gold medalist Usain Bolt. Skill is only developed by hours and hours of work. This is evident if anyone has ever heard Leon play his guitar. Leon has left a positive impact on Hopton, and I'm sure he will continue to do so in his future at Western Carolina University. Please let us welcome Leon Corbett. Okay, so I'm Leon Corbett, and my speech is called Be Yourself, Reach for the Sky. Today is a day that we've been preparing for for over a decade, and a day that arrived sooner than many of us expect expected. A day that yesterday seemed so far away, but it was really just a blink away. Yesterday is nothing more than history, Tomorrow is nothing more than a mystery, but today is about us and nothing more. Looking forward to what's next and what came before. There's no way to know what will come next, but I do know that we will see success in our careers, our families, and our passions and each of our lives is gonna be a different satisfaction. Some of you all will be truckers and drive. Others are gonna be teachers and teach. Others will be nurses and save lives. The choice is yours, it's within your reach. Throughout the pandemic, we face many uncertainties and we question almost everything. But we pushed through and now we're all here to celebrate the end of our senior school year. Now that I've rhymed and used up my time, I will now extend my last bit of advice. Be yourself because you're the only you and reach for the sky because there's nothing you can't do. It is a tremendous honor to introduce our next speaker, and I do so with a great amount of pride. This young lady exemplifies the concept of the ideal student, and I can honestly say that I consider it a blessing to have been given the opportunity to not only teach her, but to also get to know her as a person. Her academic intellect is top notch, and her charming personality is infectious. For the past four years, without fail, every single time this student has passed me in the hallway, she has smiled the brightest, most uplifting smile. And I know the hallways of Hopton High School will be slightly dimmed without her presence. This young lady is one of the kindest, most genuine individuals I have ever met. Pair that with a never-ending desire to excel and an unparalleled work ethic and you have the recipe for the greatest of successes. As she walks the infamous brick sidewalks of Campbell University in the fall, I know her journey has only just begun. For wherever her path may take her in life, this student is destined for nothing short of greatness. 
It is my pleasure to introduce our next speaker, Ms. Anna Miller. Ms. King's trying to make you cry before I speak. <laughs> Oh, good morning. As we prepare to leave Hopton High School as students for the last time, I want to talk about the lessons I've learned while at Hopton. Lesson number one, silence. Ecclesiastes 3.7 says, there's a time to be silent and a time to speak. In kindergarten, I had a hard time staying quiet. Whether I was sitting in a group, in a corner, or facing the wall, I would always find a way to talk. With the help of my teacher, Ms. Barefoot, I learned that there is a time to be silent and a time to speak. Moving forward, there will come a time when you need to listen. There will also come a time when that you will need to speak up for yourself. Lesson number two, adapt to change. Ecclesiastes 3.1 says, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. To me, this verse means change. The first real change I had was in fourth grade when one of my favorite teachers, Miss Monk, changed jobs. The next big change I had was going from my safe space at Hopton Elementary to walking the big scary halls of Hopton Middle. The biggest change of all was the summer before senior year when the band director that taught me to love music left Hopton. He had been my band director for six years and was a big influence on me. I was worried that my senior band season would be ruined, but then came Mr. Dunn. He brought new ideas and excitement that we had not felt in a long time. My senior year of band became my best year of band. Throughout all these changes, I learned that change is okay and not always a bad thing. As we take the next steps in life, you will face many changes. You need to be ready and prepared to embrace them. Lesson number three, everyone needs friends. Proverbs 17, 17 says, a friend loves at all times. This may come to as a shock to Miss Barefoot, but starting high school, I had a hard time finding my voice. Many of my friends transferred to other schools. I found myself experiencing something I had never felt, social anxiety. I felt isolated. For the first time at Hopton, I felt truly really alone. Then, suddenly God answered my prayers and sent me my best friend, Baylor Harris. Baylor helped me to break out of my shell and become bubbly again. Friends are truly a gift from God. Everyone needs to have a friend that they can rely on. And the last lesson, lesson number four, perseverance. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. During my sophomore year, I injured my knee while running. This cost me my season of cross country in the beginning of winter track. I went through physical therapy and was able to return at the end of winter track and play second in the one mile race and first in the two mile race. COVID happened, complications arose, and I was back to square one. Slowly but surely, like the two mile race, I returned to the track and even made it to state championships. Perseverance and hard work pay off in school, on the track, and in life. To conclude, these lessons have prepared me to take the next steps in life. Listen more than you speak, be prepared for changes ahead, keep your friends close, and always work hard and never give up. I would like to close with Jeremiah 29 11. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Thank you and best wishes to class of 2022. Four years and one pandemic ago, as Caitlin entered the halls of Hobden High, we didn't really know what a remarkable woman she was to become, but we do now. 
I really can't think of a better way to say it than way to go, kiddo. Along the way, Caitlin earned a staggeringly high GPA and inspired her teachers to challenge her in new, new ways and to grow and learn. <clears throat> it also stands to reason that such a brilliant and active student could excel in co-curricular activities as well, which included participation in the drama club, art club, peer group connection, which is also known as PGC, beta, and the Science National Honor Society. Last spring, she was the chief marshal at our graduation and was a marshal at the Sampson Community College graduation. She also completed her associate's degree from Sampson before graduating from high school. Caitlin, I'm glad to have had the opportunity to share with everyone gathered here today a list of your quantifiable achievements, for they are noteworthy and deserve our recognition. And there is little doubt, too, that Caitlin will go on to attract more recognition and accolades in the years ahead. But at the end of the day, the grades and the awards have nearly nothing to do with how I will remember Caitlin or with the impact she has had on Hobton. As she leaves our halls to pursue a degree in anthropology and minors in forensic science and composite science from East Carolina University, please join me in welcoming Caitlin Giddens to the stage for the 2022 salutatory address. Thank you, Mr. Waters. Good morning, my fellow graduates, staff, and families. We are finally at the end of our adventure. Throughout this time, we have been introduced to a substantial list of experiences, such as triumph, friendship, accomplishment, and heartbreak. No matter our differences in experiences, each one of us, each one of them has something in common. We learn lessons from them all. From my perspective, Life is about learning lessons. According to Judy Belmont, which is a mental health author and psychotherapist, learning lessons is known to increase the odds that you will put your thoughts into action. I would now like to share some of the lessons that I have learned through my years of school. The first one is to be modest. As I was growing up, my parents always took me to thrift stores to buy jeans. No matter what I received from them, I was always grateful, even though I didn't know why I could get new clothes, being that I knew we could afford them. Eventually, I learned that they did this to show me how to appreciate everything I was gifted, even if it wasn't the nicest. The next lesson is to not be so hard on yourself. As, um, as just renounced, um, I recently received my associate's degree in both arts and science. And I'm here to say, it was the most difficult thing I've ever done. For example, I finished my last exam on Mother's Day at 5.30 a.m. I worked so hard to keep my grades up, and I was so critical toward myself if an outcome wasn't perfect. It was making my life extremely challenging, so I turned over a new leaf. In my last semester, I received my first C. Of course, I was disappointed, but all that mattered to me was that I tried to work hard. I was able to realize that once in a while, everyone falls below their own expectations, and that's okay. Lastly, my favorite lesson of all. I learned this one from one of my favorite movies, Meet the Robinsons, and that is to keep moving forward. Life is going to sling rocks at you, and some may even hit you, but all that you can do is to keep moving forward and try to take on the world. I hope that the rest of the class of 2022 and even the families here today can take something from some of the lessons that I have learned and maybe even gain a new perspective of your own life. As we move into a new chapter of our lives, always remember to remain humble. Don't be so hard on yourself and to keep moving.
was once said, success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love what you are doing or learning to do. There is no greater quote that embodies the character of this young man. Throughout the past four years, I have witnessed him to go from a quiet, shy individual to an outstanding leader that loves to learn, serve, and bring about positive change. His work in and out of the classroom has allowed him to showcase his abilities and share his past passions with others. When it comes to hard work, this young man has never hesitated to embrace the challenge. From preparing for numerous FFA competitions to volunteering in the community, he has welcomed every other opportunity to demonstrate what it means to be a Hopton Wildcat. As, it is a as a teacher, it has been an absolute joy to watch this young man grow mature and make an impact on his peers and community. It is with great, great pleasure I introduce your valedictorian for the class of 2022, Mr. Isaiah Harris. I believe it is also important that we take a moment to consider the future. According to C.S. Lewis, there are far better things ahead than any we leave behind. I do not doubt that our class has better things ahead. No matter what career path you embark on after today, I know you'll excel in it because I have first-hand knowledge of how capable you all are. I believe the lessons that we have learned here at Hopton will be a major factor in our future success. These last few years have not been easy for any of us. We have had to learn how to adapt to drastic changes and become self-learners when classrooms were unavailable. Our class has had to overcome significant challenges, and as a result, I believe that we will be able to take on anything we may face in the future. I have personally learned several lessons that have prepared me for the future over these last four years. I learned some of these lessons while competing in a veterinary science event with FFA during the fall of my sophomore year. I had to tie a gauze muzzle onto a fake dog, which is ordinarily not a difficult task. However, once inside the evaluation room, my stomach dropped when I saw a classic model bulldog that had no snout. How do you muzzle a dog that has no snout? I barely got the muzzle tied onto the tip of the dog's nose, and I received a bad score. However, in years after this, I would find great success in the FFA. From this experience, I learned to expect the unexpected and be adaptable and learn from failures. Finally, I would advise you all to enjoy this celebration, but do not forget to look forward. Look forward to your future career and experiences. Look forward to the coming changes in your life and embrace them. This can sometimes be difficult, but you will grow from this and have a more fulfilling experience. Look forward to what we can achieve as the next generation of leaders. Class of 2022, please never stop learning and growing and looking forward. Class of 2022, if I told you that you were successful, that would sound like a very positive statement. If I told you you were a failure, that on the other hand would be very negative. If you are like many others, you will have lots of both failures and successes in life. 
Booker T. Washington stated that success is to be measured not so much by the position that one has reached in life as by the obstacles that he has overcome while trying to succeed. These obstacles can be minor setbacks or major disruptions, but they are still bumps in the road and we must surpass them to achieve the goals that we set out to achieve. When you set your goals, make them both lofty and attainable. We all need to be stretched beyond our comfort level, forcing us to work for our successes. This, make, this makes us more appreciative of what we have because the success has likely required some blood, sweat, and tears. These successes will have more value because we earn them as opposed to having them given to us. With that, I will leave you with 10 points that will help you through life. One, believe in yourself. If you believe you can, then you will. Number two, stay strong. Dream you can, believe you will, and achieve what you set out to do. Number three, work hard. Most often, hard work beats almost everything, including talent. Paraphrasing Babe Ruth, it is hard to beat a person who works hard and never gives up. As Winston Churchill stated and Jim Valvano made popular in the 90s, don't give up, don't ever give up. Keeping with that last point, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. stated, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, keep moving forward. And all things get a little better each day. Constantly getting better at anything adds up to great improvements over time. Number seven, be grateful. Being grateful shares appreciation towards others. Number eight, stay humble, work hard in silence, and let your successes be your noise. Number nine, be kind. No one person is any better than another, regardless of their circumstances, no matter their position. Number 10, smile through the good times because they make you feel good and make you feel strong. Smile through the tough times because they will make you stronger. As I close, remember to be a good person in life, work hard, and never give up. I love you all and congratulations. Since this is a special night for all graduates and a distinguished ceremony, we ask you to hold all applause and refrain from any cheering until the last name is called. Deputies will escort those who display disrespect during the presentation out of the stadium. This will ensure that every student's name is properly called and every guest has the opportunity to hear their loved one's name announced. Marshals, please prepare the scene. Parents, when your child's name is called, please stand. Christopher Daniel Acosta. Amalia Maria Aguilar. Jasmine Ariaga. Armando Avelino Ortiz.
Mason Allen Barber. Hewlin Jack Bass. Chasen Wayne Beasley. Michaela Renee Best. Jackson Ray Bizzle. Matthew Chase Bland. Jesse David Boykin. Haley Alexis Birch. Loden Thomas Bradshaw. Elijah William Brunson. Alexis Emily Bryant. Haley Del Carmen Cabrera Silveria. Leon Vance Corbett. Raimundo Arturo Cruz. Georgiana Elizabeth Darden. Angel Diaz. Abby Catherine Driver. Kaylee Joe Eason. Michaela Nicole Esquivel. Austin Robert Fairclough. Shania Marie Facey. Morgan Ann Faye. Guadalupe Feliciano Mendez. Dyson Perion Fryer. Emily Gabrielle Garcia. Caitlin Marie Giddens. Selena Gonzalez Reyes. Destiny Marie Goodchild. Kaylee Jean Rice. Nathan James Griffin. Connor James Grimes. Baylor Amaris Harris. Isaiah Reed Harris. Maya Yvette Harris. Camilla Arlene Hernandez Lopez.
Ariana Paige Perry. Carrington Buchanan Johnson. Jesse Thomas Jones. Litsy Anahi Lascaris. Dante Philip Lee. Carlos Fernando Lazardo Ramos. Gabriel Isaac Lazardo. Lorendia Shanae Lofton. Victor Eduardo Lopic Padilla. Elizabeth Athea Martinez. Ohani Martinez Rodriguez. Ian Jeremy McCullough. William Nathaniel McLean. Kathy Mejia. Anna Elizabeth Miller. Jesus Montez Lopez. Shatira Janae Murphy. Oscar Nahara Acevedo. Avidio Ortiz Perez. Trenton Jarrell Owens. Astrid Rachel Pacheco. Jordi Ponzo Gonzalez. Ashley Jacqueline Perez. Fernando Ray Clark. Rafael Eduardo Falanco. Jesse Dakota Pack. Alejandro Alfonso Ramirez. Jose David Rendon. Nicole Sanchez Redigan. Kevin Ricky Reyes. Rachel Nicole Roberta. Jeremiah Hakeem. Robinson. Alejandra Rodriguez Pops.
Alexandra Yvette Romero Zuniga. Joseph Paul Rose. Brian Yair Ruiz Morales. Leonardo Javier Serna. Dana Isabel Sosa Feliciano. John Lucas Strickland. Lucy Reese Strickland. Caitlin Leanne Thompson. Tyvon Malik Thompson. Walker Jean Thornton. Carson Alexander Wiki Bass. Yakias is Stephen Wright. Graduates, at this time, would you please stand? <laughs> by the power and authority vested in me by the state of North Carolina and the Sampson County Board of Education, I declare that all members of the class of 2022 who have fulfilled their academic attendance and other requirements are hereby graduates of Hopton High School. Graduates, you may turn your tassels. Congratulations. standing. Guests, following the benediction, please remain standing, standing for the reception. As we come to a close, let us pray over the graduates. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all the blessings that you have given us. Thank you for allowing us to be here today to celebrate the graduation of the class of 2022. Thank you for allowing us to return to as normal of a life as possible and giving us the best in your year. I pray that you will continue to bless the class of 2022 as we make the next steps in our lives. All these things we pray in your name. Amen.